So, uh, Harvey, yeah, you you lived on what floor in the building there? Uh, I live uh, I live on a seventh floor. This is the entrance. It's the middle entrance. Okay. And what floor did the fire happen on? Uh, I think it started on the eighth floor. Above but you? It, yeah, above me. It just go down on the seven and then start spreading up, up to twelve floors. Okay. So tell me. How did you first hear about it or what happened? Actually, I was in my car, uh, I was in Dunleer, you know, it was a nice day. So yeah. I went there, like, uh, and then I just received a few phone calls and few messages and pictures that the, the, like the building is on fire. So I didn't know what, I was kind of shocked. Yeah. So I ran away straight to see what's happening. So I noticed loads of vehicles, firefighters and everything. And I noticed from here, so as you can just see, like that the apartment next to me, literally, there was a uh, in fire. But they did push down everything, so now it's okay. But I was in fear that my apartment was caught, so yeah. it was terrifying, literally. And so, you're out? You're out of the building, is it? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. now we are out of the building. Yeah. Uh, they and said no uh, one can stay there. Yeah, no yeah. one can stay there. Like tomorrow, they are gonna do the assessment, like one by one floor, to see what's the damage. Mm -hmm. And the left, the left side of the building can just go in, stay at night. But the middle one, they're not so sure yet. They're, they're gonna inform us in the next two hours. Okay. And the, the, the right one where the fire started, they're gonna be probably sleeping somewhere with family or friends or in the hotel or something like that, so. Yeah. Tell us what happened then. So I was sitting on my um, in my couch, just you know, enjoying the Sunday. And where are you? What flat are you in? Sorry. I'm in number 58, which is the seventh floor. And were you in the block where the fire was, or the middle, yes, or the? I'm yeah. in the one with the fire. Okay. Um, so you yeah. were right there. Okay. Go ahead. Tell me then. Sorry. So I, I could hear some like crackling and sizzling. So I, I thought someone might have just said, you know, barbecue or something on their balcony, which isn't allowed in the first place. But, um, yeah. So that was my first thought, and I, I could hear it, and I went to my girlfriend and I said, you know, I think someone has a barbecue or there's a fire. And um, at this point, the fire alarm hadn't been set off yet. So um, I went and did a, did a double check out on the balcony, and I could see some ashes falling from the one above me. So at that point, I said, right, we need to go. And at that point, the, the alarm went off as well. Um, so we, we grabbed our stuff. Um, that we could get. Now I got my keys and my wallet, so um, then we just left. So uh, we've been out here for the last two or three hours, um, just waiting for an update. Tell us how you came down here tonight then. Yeah, well, I had seen a video shared online of the fire, but I know somebody who lives here and they actually contacted me um, to say that there was going to be a whole number of families homeless. So I just came down to try to see, hopefully, that people were getting the help that they needed. Uh, the situation is, it seems to be that there's at least a dozen apartments that are directly impacted with fire and damage. The really scary thing is how quickly it spread. Somebody showed me a video they took a resident. Within five minutes, five floors, the fire had spread. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's actually serious questions there about the regulations that there isn't a stop, you know, on, on, on floors. And it also seems to have started on one floor and gone up and down. Oh, yeah, okay. so... Yeah. Um, Again, you know, a lot of concerning things there because they're all they're planning on doing a lot more high rise apartments in this center. Uh, the management company have said that they're going to be able to accommodate people affected. All of these seem to be built to rent, everybody seems to be renting. Another issue that was raised was that people don't have insurance for their contents because they're renters and they can't get insurance. So, you know, there's a whole host of ways people are affected, thankfully. There isn't anybody injured. There was a dog taken away. Mm -hmm. Actually, was getting medical assistance. Um, somebody was worried about other cats and pets. Yeah. I seen the fire brigade reuniting somebody with.